Hello, and welcome to this summer school episode. As you may know, summer school videos serve as previews for online courses offered by the IMF. In this edition, we will feature the Monetary and Financial Statistics Online Course, or MFSX. Ever wondered why Monetary and Financial Statistics, or MFS, are so crucial? They're essential for a range of economic and financial policy analysis, including understanding monetary policy transmission, assessing the intermediation role of the financial sector, and examining sectoral interconnectedness. The MFS online course provides a foundational understanding of MFS compilation framework and analysis of key financial aggregates. It covers key principles and concepts for collecting, compiling, and presenting monetary statistics for both compilers and users. This summer school preview covers the MFS compilation framework, highlights the central bank service importance for monetary policy, examines the depository corporation service role in analyzing broad money, and more. Ready to dive deeper? Sign up for the full free MFSX course at the link available in the video description. The course, funded by the Data for Decisions Fund, D4D, and Government of Japan, has been developed by the Statistics Department and the Institute for Capacity Development. MFS are compiled from the accounting records of the resident financial institutions. At the first level, data from accounting records are aggregated into standardized sectoral balance sheets for the central bank, other depository corporations or ODCs, and other financial corporations or OFCs. At the second level, sectoral balance sheets are organized into analytical presentations or surveys. Five analytical surveys are compiled based on sectoral balance sheet data of the free financial corporations subsectors. The central bank survey is generated from the sectoral balance sheet of the central bank. The other depository corporation survey is generated from the sectoral balance sheet of the other depository corporations. The depository corporation survey is derived by consolidating the central bank survey and other depository corporation survey. The other financial corporation survey is generated from the sectoral balance sheet of other financial corporations. And finally, the financial corporation survey is derived by consolidating the depository corporation survey and other financial corporation survey. The analytical presentation of the Central Bank Survey, or CBS, showing the position vis-à-vis -vis other domestic sectors and non-residents reflects most central bank functions. It is a powerful tool for monetary policy and financial programming. On the asset side, net foreign assets reflect the central bank's function as manager of the country's international reserves. Claims on other depository corporations show the central bank's function as lender of last resort to other banks. Net claims on central government is an indicator of the financing provided by the central bank to the central government and reflects the function as the banker to the central government. On the liability side, the monetary base shows the central bank's function as issuer of currency and banker to financial corporations, in particular to banks. It is also a key variable to analyze the process of monetary expansion and how changes in net foreign assets and net domestic assets ultimately affect credit and broad money. The CBS allows monetary policy to be presented and analyzed by the different financial instruments, as rearranged in the analytical survey. The basic accounting identity shows that the net change on the right-hand side resulting from changes in net foreign assets, NFA, claims on other depository corporations, CODC, net claims on central government, NCG, or credit to other resident sectors, CORS, and or other items net, OIN, 
will necessarily reflect a change in the monetary base, MB. CODC, NCG, CORS, and OIN can be subsumed as net domestic assets or NDA. The central bank is the sole issuer of base money and can control its quantity. It can affect the monetary base and hence broad money through different instruments, including open market operations, entail the selling or buying of short-term debt securities to ODCs to absorb or expand their lending capacity, since they cannot be used to constitute reserve requirements. Discount window operations provide additional funds to ODCs or reduce them in case the central bank retracts such operations. Purchases or sales of foreign exchange affect the supply of domestic currency in the market. Central bank policy rates will affect the bank's lending decision, which will reflect on the bank's deposits and the amount of reserves banks will hold as part of the monetary base. In this video, you have learned how the CBS is used for monetary policy formulation and implementation. The analytical presentation allows to identify key variables such as net foreign assets, credit to other depository corporations, net credit to central government, and the monetary base. The Depository Corporation Survey, or DCS, provides a principal set of monetary statistics for monetary policy. It facilitates the analysis of broad money and its components and counterparts sources, credit and debt aggregates and their components, foreign assets and liabilities other liabilities of the depository corporation sector. The DCS is constructed around the accounting identity. Changes in broad money, BM, is equal to the sum of changes in net foreign assets, NFA, net claims on central government, NCG, claims on other resident sector, CORS, and other items net, OIN or changes in broad money is equal to the sum of changes in net foreign assets and net domestic assets. This balance sheet identity provides a direct link between the broad money supply and the depository corporation sector claims on other sectors of the economy and on non-residents. Broad money liabilities correspond to a generally accepted international benchmark definition that focuses on the usability of financial instruments as medium of exchange and or store of value in an economy. Deposits of central government and non-residents are excluded from broad money. Net foreign assets give an indication of the resources available for balance of payments financing, while gross foreign liabilities show potential drains on available external resources. Equity investments in ODCs by non-residents is excluded from the calculation. Net foreign assets provide a link to the financial account of balance of payments and the international investment position. Net credit to government measures the net financing to the central government by the central bank and ODCs. It indicates the exposure of the depository corporation sector to the central government and the degree to which the central government is competing with the private sector for the available financial resources. Net claims on central government provides a direct link to bank financing items in government finance statistics. Credit to other resident sectors shows how the credit to the economy is distributed among the different sectors. It is important to highlight that this accounting identity does not determine a causal relationship between its different components. However, it underlines the sources of changes in broad money and provides useful inputs for conducting monetary policy.